She's you know. a great mother. Okay, Al, where are we going this morning? <laughs> no, I was telling you, look, so it's the first LSU game I've ever gone to that was on the road. And uh, I got invited. My assistant actually lives in Austin, which is right. Missy's aunt, my wife's aunt. And somehow or another, they're like, you know, I got access to a suite. And they invited you and Missy to come watch LSU game. Well, first I just said, I'm out. Because I thought, why would I want to go be in a room with a bunch of Texas, Texas fans. fans? Which is why I thought you said, we would not show up. I, yeah, but, I just first I said no. But she just kept on like, look, I'm telling you, they're fine. And so and Missy wanted to go. And I was like, and then I started, you know, LSU looked so impressive in week one. And I'm like, man, this could be an epic battle. So I'm in. And so we went. And... uh I tell you, it was quite the game, and I and I was so it was so interesting to see how other universities, you know, just have their game day, right. and the facilities there were awesome, and the people were actually awesome. You know, if LSU, had, I've been to plenty of LSU games where they lost. Oh, it gets grumpy. You know, oh, yeah. you're just wanting to get, but you know, the Texas fans. I mean, I, it was they were real pretty upbeat. I they noticed were, you know? the the Texans had stashed the LSU fans <laughs> That's so I was. high up. <laughs> That's oh, I where was. I was. <laughs> I was looking. I thought, where, well, where are all these LSU fans? Well, I look way I've never, up. They even had I, the band I've up I've never there. seen the opposing band in the upper deck Me? until this game. But you know, I'm like, this guy drops a horn on somebody, they're dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you Good. see a tuba go down well, the Well, yeah, post. their drums are like leaning <laughs> over the edge. I was like, this can't be. The only people that heard the band was LSU fans, which it was – the one good thing about it was the way the game turned out so exciting in LSU one is that three thousand. We may have been stashed away, but if you were in that bunch, oh, oh yeah. it was party time. Now it oh, was yeah. it was really awesome. But I, I've already talked to some people in the athletic department at LSU, and for the first time next year, you know, because they always put the band in the south end zone yeah. in Tiger Stadium, they're going to be up in the upper. Oh, they're, no, it's going to be no. a, they're, it's going <laughs> to got- be payback. Only three thousand seats, and the band's going up. You know, so. <laughs> but it was a it was an awesome game battle back and forth. You know, but everybody was like, "Well, what happened to LSU's defense?" And I'm like, "It's 102 degrees. They oh, had man. the goal line stand twice, twice in the first quarter." Well, then they just start falling out like flies because <laughs> cramps. Literally every other play, somebody was down. The and you then missed the all crowd that. just booed and booed. <laughs> and they're like, you know, they're doing it on purpose. I'm like, no, they're hot and they're out of gas. <laughs> That's why you're just running all over us <laughs> and we can't but stop you. It is as hot in Texas as it is down here in, in South right. Louisiana. And you put 100,000 people it. together. In that atmosphere, well, they, they were. They get all keyed up. And they did, nobody died. Yeah. You know? Another was, reason I chose ducks over football. Well, and and by the way, mom told me, because mom made the wisest. Mom was going with us to the game, which would have been a disaster. But yeah. she wisely backed out because she could have never done it. But she told me she saw on the local news they had 58 ambulance, you know, deals to fans from the stadium because of the heat. Oh, it was brutal. So, but it was an incredible game. And look, I was pretty well mannered until I was wondering. Well, I was that was my question for well, you. Did, did you a, go nuts? Because I, I mean, went nuts. People are, oh, did I go nuts? <laughs> I, I about broke my hand because that there's a glass. You know, like when it got too hot, like at halftime, we just you know it's sixty five degrees in there where I'm at. It's awesome, but it's it's plexiglass. And so when Burrow hit, you know, when he, he got flush on the pocket, he stepped up, he threw kind of a wounded duck, fell down. Jefferson caught it, makes a move, he scores. I literally went Because that was the seal of the game. Yeah, right? I lost it. <laughs> I did, you know, I pumped my fist. So much so oh, you tried to put your fist through a plate glass window. Yeah, I thought I'd broken my hand, but yeah. I didn't care. Well, you know, I, I was in that weird moment where I'm looking around for somebody to share that, and Missy was like too far away. And when I finally gathered myself and looked back, all these people that I'm with, they're just sitting there. And I was like, hey. <laughs> but everybody from LSU who are fans heard me because I was screaming so loud. And so they look back, and then they're like, hey, that's that dude from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> so then we started, like, chanting at each other, go Tigers, and I just so joined just right in. Like- <laughs> well, then everybody's looking, and I thought, I, t- I leaned over and told Missy, I was like, if we get out of here without me getting my butt smoked, I will be shot. <laughs> yeah. But I couldn't help it. I lost it.